bought at a price, therefore glorify God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 20 For you were brought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. How do you read the above Bible verse? Want to know the heart of Yahweh on this? I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Check that in Romans chapter 12 and verses 1 and 2. In other words, we belong to Yahweh, not to ourselves. Yahweh wanted us to be released from sinful captivity, and since we are incapable to do it by our own selves, we were purchased at a great price, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. Hence, we should use our bodies to glorify Yahweh, not for our own selfish purposes. This means living in a way that is holy and pleasing to the Triune God. There was this sweet holy communion between Yahweh and Adam and Eve and everything was well in the Garden of Eden. That is, until Adam and Eve ate the for forbidden fruit. Since that date, sin enslaved man and disobedience, lawlessness and moral degradation kept on increasing the chasm between God and man. This is not how Yahweh intended it to be. So what were we missing out of the grand plan for man when Yahweh created us? But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that's in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. And each of us should answer this statement or the verse above and see how well we conform to what is Yahweh's will for us. How did we get confounded and missed our mark? Sin weak flesh and our inclination for pleasure, wealth and power. These are the wanton blinding flares for fame and popularity that makes us disobedient. Compounded by the obsessive need for self-gratification, 
bordering on to become so compulsive that it becomes an untreatable disorder. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Galatians chapter 3 and 13a. Let us not slide back to be delivered to Satan. But all on the face of intense struggle, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That's in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. We have played with lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness. So now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. Check that out in Romans chapter 6 and verse 19b. God commands, born at a price, therefore glorify God. And that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 20. For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. New log every Monday. And do subscribe to this vlog if you have not already done so. See you next Monday.